Mm. On Thursday, July 30th, 2015, at the intersection of Good Hope Road and Nella Road, Southeast, Kenneth McClinton, Francine Milton, and Rebecca Teller, along with a host of area leaders, joined in demanding the Council of District Columbia pass the Relisha, the Relisha, the Relisha Rudd Law, making it a felony for a parent or guardian to not report a child missing or dead within 24 hours of the occurrence. It's a shame. <clears throat> I know y'all know about this case. It happened a while back. Little precious black little girl came up missing due to some circumstances of grown-ups in the district. This thing goes across the board and it's a really an outcry when young people not even grown, just just getting out of baby stage, just a little girl. I know y'all seen the pictures. Very pretty, young, black little girl. Precious. Innocence took away <clears throat> because of issues with grown ups. There's a lot of kids that come up dead. And I'm going to spound on this because it's a shame. Someone, a tragedy got to happen and laws got to be implemented then. Why they ain't implemented when, when people are not missing or living? Do I think it's right for them to push for that? I agree. Within 24 hours, there's something wrong. You know that's your sibling, so why won't you report your child missing? I know if it was my child, and at that age missing, I'd be on the phone, I'd be, I'd be ecstatic trying to figure out where my loved one is at. Right there, that's a sign to me that you don't care about your offspring. There's a lot of people that really don't care due to drug activity, due to dysfunctional thinking. I always got to go back to why and how these things happen. I'm going to tell you why some of this stuff happened. When you have low income environments, People are not educated to the full potential to survive in this society in the United States curriculum, far as getting a somewhat good job so they can pay the dues and pay the rent, mortgage, what have you, and live with a roof, shelter, food, the, necess the necessities, excuse me, of life. If they can't do that, well, how can they take care of a child if they can't take care of themselves? And these are the things that we need to look at. But in the district, you know, I'm a former resident of uh, District of Columbia. I reside in Maryland now. Uh, they've been spending too much time building these uh, million dollar condominiums. And, uh, all these buildings, people not even living in them, especially in Southwest. <laughs> they look burned to me when I go across the little bridge with my folks. I look over there. And some of them apartments probably what three twenty one hundred for one. I heard on the station some of these apartments, some of them apartments in the district is twenty one hundred for for a wet for a one bedroom. Y'all probably said, "What this got to do with the topic, sir?" Well, I'm gonna tell you what it got to do with the topic. Money's gone to stuff really. DC don't need. See, they snatched all the programs out. 
to help people like that. It's always a cause to the effect. Those people had problems. That was the overseers of that child. And that's why that child came up missing. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. And um, it's sad the similar got to suffer. It's like that lady, uh, Peggy, H- Peggy Hubbard, talked about how the little girl got hit with a bullet and died. Nine-year-old girl. What, what is wrong? Like I say, it's across the board. What is wrong with us? We got to get to what is wrong. Ain't the social conditions bad enough to uh, really think that, hey, my child is a Hans way. Other men that's the same color are fighting, feuding over territory they don't even own. United States government own. Talking about you own this, you holding it. You ain't holding down nothing, Negro. Because when they put in national law, they snatch all that shit right up under your feet like a carpet. You don't run nothing. All y'all do is run your mouth. I used to think like that too. You know, I'm guilty of that when I was that age. But when you rising up, if you don't get killed in the streets. Due to uh, stupidity, you'll know that all that was a waste of time and breath. Because when they want to shut it down, they'll shut it down. My thing is this. Missing children is a sad thing. Now, I'm getting this from, uh, because I said I just read a paper. I'm getting this from... uh, what date is this paper? <clears throat> yeah. I just gave y'all the date. So, it's been a, some months back. <clears throat> but it's just relevant because a lot of us don't read the paper no more. We too busy running the streets or doing otherwise. So, I'm just giving y'all an update and give me some feedback. And, which, you know, if y'all can find it up, Google it up on the internet and give some feedback about this article. It's a sad thing. You see stuff go down like this. I was trying to look for the the newspaper title. I'm gonna write it in the uh, description box after this video, so y'all can go ahead and get y'all issue or. Go on the internet, find an issue on the internet, and go ahead and read it for yourself. It's a little uh, paragraph about the situation, and they're trying to pass a law. And I think it should be implemented because, like I say, that shows you you don't care for your sibling when you don't report that your offspring is missing. Um, missing and exploited. Exploited children. It's 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 a it's not a phenomenon. It's a ongoing thing. Some of them end up in sex rings. Some of them end up in you know slavery, slave sex. We have people with demonic uh, agendas out here, and it be sti- it need to be stiffer penalties on those people when they get apprehended because some of them do get caught. And I rejoice because th- that's a sick person. Mental illness, messing with a child, raping children, killing children, torturing children. That's a mental illness. And it seems like within the United States, we have a lot of these, these, these idiots running around. So, I just want to give y'all a little update. See what y'all think about this law. I want y'all to think about what I just said about how the money is going to certain things that I think is really over the top. We have too much social issues within the district that we need to take care of as far as the spike of violence that's been going on and little kids getting caught up in the mix. 
used to be more programs. Because when I was coming up, they did have trade schools. They snatched all the vocational schools out. If it's any, it's very few. And it all goes to the origin of parenting. The parents don't have nothing. Pot to piss in or window to throw it out. How you think they're going to raise a child in those circumstances and environment? It's impossible. And then this is what you have. Situations and incidents like this. I can't paint a picture. I can't paint a picture clearer than that. So leave your comments. I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you the uh, the title of the newspaper. I got the got got this idea. And my sources from y'all can Google it up and look it up for yourself and give me some feedback on what you think about this. All of my.